And in other news, astronaut Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore, who have been stuck in the International Space Station for over three months after the Starliner spacecraft malfunctioned, have now reportedly hearing strange noises from a speaker inside the spacecraft. The incident was reported two days ago when Mi Wilmore radioed the mission control at Johnson Space Center in Houston. He said that he was not sure if there was some oddity in the connection between the station and the spacecraft causing the noise. He then asked the flight controllers to see if they could listen to the audio inside the spacecraft. Floating in Starliner, Wilmore reportedly put his microphone up to the speaker inside the Starliner and an audible pinging that was quite distinctive could be heard. The mission controls and it was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a sonar ping. A recording of this audio and Wilmore's conversation with mission control was captured and shared by a Michigan-based meteorologist named Rob Dale. Uh, the, the strange noise coming through the speaker. And I didn't know if you could connect into the Starliner and let me uh, keep my let you hear. I don't, I don't know what, what's making it, but uh, I don't know if it's something that maybe is connected uh, between here and there, making that happen. But uh, anyway, can you do that? We can configure that, Butch. Give us a minute and I'll call you back when it's ready. Okay. That. All right, Butch, that one came through. It was kind of like a pulsing noise, almost like a... Sonar ping. As the Starliner flies to the space station, it maintains communications with the space station via a radio frequency system. Astronauts in the past are known to have noticed such oddities in space from time to time. However, it was not immediately clear what was causing the noise, which was heard by Barry Wilmore. The odd noises emanating from the Starliner spacecraft are notable given the challenges that Boeing and NASA have had with the debut crewed flight of Starliner, which included substantial helium leaks in flight and failing thrusters. A week ago, NASA announced that due to uncertainty about the availability of another Starliner, it would come home without its original crew of Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams. While the Starliner is due to fly back, Autonomously to Earth on September 6, the astronauts will return to Earth next February. Flying abroad, SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is scheduled to launch with just two astronauts later this month. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.